This is part two of three of five comics you need to get right now. Stay tuned and check out what these are. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And today we are doing part two of the five comics you need to get right now. So there is going to be a little bit better comics in this one. If you haven't seen the first one, please check it out so you don't miss any that might have already been talked about. And part three will be tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for that as well so you don't miss out on any of these comics. So let it, let's get into these five books. Now, this book, many people may overlook. Now, we know it's just a matter of time before Adam War Warlock is going to be in the movies. They are People are speculating that he may be as early as Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Because if you saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and you stayed until the after credits, you know that they show a cocoon and they said they shall name him Adam. So in, unless they are going to do a dramatic change, we are 99.999% confirmed that Adam Warlock is going to be a character that's going to be hitting the Marvel Universe, especially in Phase 4. Now... Most people are going to be looking for the Fantastic Four issues, the first appearance of him and the first appearance of Adam Warlock in a cocoon. This one is going to be overlooked. This is Marvel premiere issue number one, which is Adam Warlock's first solo story. Now, this is another book I bought years ago. I paid about, I don't have the exact price, but I know I paid under $10 for this book. And you can see this is probably about a 4.0 because it's got some stains and everything on it. But this is still a book that's going to be easily obtainable as of now and has plenty of room to grow. Uh, you're probably going to spend about the $30 to $40 range for this book at this point. But this is definitely a key book to pick up. You will not be disappointed if you do. Next one, another book that people are going to overlook. So some of these I want to make sure are books that you may not be thinking about or may not know about. So... That's the best time to get a book because if you get it before everybody else realizes what it is, well, you're going to get it cheap. And this is Miss Marvel issue number two. Now, everybody's going after Miss Marvel number one, which, of course, is a book to get, but it's pretty expensive at this point. So what is so special about issue number two? Well, it's the origin of Miss Marvel. So that be, may be a book that you can get under the radar that many people may not be aware of. Uh, this is a book that was a throw-in. I actually bought comics years ago, and they threw in Miss Marvel 2 um, and a couple of others. I think one of them was, I think, issue 20, I believe, which is her first costume change. But this was basically a throw-in. So sometimes people don't know what they have, so be very careful if you don't research things. But I guess back then, a couple of years ago, and this is only like 2014, to, no, actually 2015, 2016, um, they, there was no talks about a Miss Marvel movie at that point, especially 2015. So this is a book you could probably find for under $15. So get this book if you can, because like I said, everybody's going to be looking for all the major key issues, and this, could, this one could slip under the radar. So check that out if you can. Uh, next one I was lucky enough to get two of. Again, this is another book that I bought years ago, telling people to pick it up. Uh, this is Captain Marvel issue number 17. Uh, this is the first print. This is the first full appearance of Kamala Khan. Now, the weird thing is there are several different comics that both CGC, CBCS, and even PGX are saying are the first appearances. So it is a little confusing. So the best thing to do is get all of them. So you don't have to worry. But uh, even the second print of this one is uh, a book to get. So um, I would highly recommend getting this book. Again, this is a book if you bought years ago, you would have probably paid under $10 for. Now you're probably going to spend the $40 to $50 range. But again, this still has the potential because only the people who really pay attention to comic books are really going to know about this at this point. 
And uh, the mainstream, even the regular comic book collectors that don't really focus on these things all too often until, you know, it becomes mainstream, they're not going to pounce on this one yet. So you still have the opportunity, even though you're going to spend probably $40, $50 on this book, I think that's just scratching the surface. I really think this could be a two, dollars $300 book when they announce Kamala Khan in a movie. So that's years from now, so you still have plenty of time. All right. Next one. This one I have a graded version of, but I have a couple of them. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, and I'll scroll up, this is a 9.2 version of CGC's Nova issue number one. This is the origin and first appearance of Nova. Now, this is another potential Phase 4 character that they might be bringing out. Again, this is a speculating one. We, we don't have any guarantees at this point, but that's the best time to buy a book when no one's talking about it and nothing has been confirmed yet. This book I bought a couple years ago, paid $126.35. And again, it's high grade. It's a 9.2 with white pages. Uh, you could get a raw one for under $75. As a matter of fact, I have a bunch of raw ones that I paid roughly around the $30 range a couple years ago. So it's probably going to be about the $50 to $75 range for a mid-grade raw comic. But again, you want to get this before it becomes mainstream, before they start talking about confirmation of this character. If it doesn't, you know, you take the chance. And that's something about speculating. You got to take the chance. So here's another comic that's going to be under the radar. This is a book I bought years ago. I paid $25 for this book. And this, in my opinion, is another book that's going to go under the radar. Most people may not even know what this is. This is Captain Marvel, issue number 17. This is the 1 in 25 variant. I'm sorry, 1 in 20 variant. So look at this image of Thor, and as you can see, 17 variant edition, this is absolutely a book you should pick up. Um, this probably is going to be, in, again, in the 50 to $75 range, but again, because it is dealing with Kamala Khan, and it's just rumors at this point, most people are not going to pick up this book. So even if you spend the 50 if you spend under $100 on this book, I think in another couple of years you're going to be very glad you did it. So obviously look for deals, but I would say between 50 and $75 I would look around for. And since this is a, since this is a newer book, you're going to probably get it in higher grades. But you never know, you might find one that has a little corner ding or something like that that could be pressed out and you could save a bunch of money. So those are this video's 5 books. Remember to check out the first video if you haven't, and again, part three, which will have the top five that I recommend that you get, um, will be out tomorrow. So check out the other video, leave comments in this video, stay until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Hit subscribe if you want to be one of those people, because you do have to be subscribed, and uh, hit the like button, because I always appreciate the support, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next video, and I hope he didn't hurt himself, because otherwise he's really going to be Thor. Ah.